Hey, what's up, guys? We're back in again with the new best Hog Rider deck in Clash Route. 2.6 Hog Rider with Fireball Musketeer is completely outdated. So we have the new secret sauce with Firecracker and a super fast cycle with Electric Spirit and Skeletons. Let's go jump straight some games and show you why this is one of the best decks in Clash Route. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you never miss out on any of the daily videos. And a whole lot of love to everyone that's using Credit Code SirTag. While I'm taking college courses, Credit Code SirTag greatly improves the editing and allows me to still upload daily videos. So thank you guys so much for making it all possible. Ayo, we got a game here, guys, and you already know the deal. If we have our Hog Rider, we are obligated to drop that as our starting play 24-7, 365. That is my favorite tactic at the start. Really? Okay. So you're going to go in for your rare recruits to kick it open. Two Hog Rider hits is some epic stuff. And now we're able to defend both sides with the firecracker. Firecracker swerving though, she's like, where am I supposed to go first, Jake? I know I'm supposed to defend everything, but can I just focus on the one with the most units or the less units? I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna hog rider here so the firecracker is not gonna be back in cycle for a bit, but the hog rider is gonna be taking all the damage from the uh, fly machine. And at the same time, he's doing a ton of damage to my tower. Why did the firecracker kill the fly machine that was already dead? There was a barb barrel about to hit my tower on the left-hand side, but he's like, no, not today, Jake. I'm going to fail you in the most epic fashion. You disobeyed orders. You put yourself and others in danger. And, and I kicked some major butt. So unless you have a point, I'm going to get some rest. There's just epic fails, epic flails. <laughs> I just feel like a magic card right now, guys. Maybe we can pull out some magic and evolve to a Gyarados eventually, but this has been a pretty wild ride so far. So I'm going to go in for an Electro Spear on the left-hand side. We've already activated King Tower, so that's not really going to matter that much. I can Knight, and then I can Hog Rider to go and pull the Goblin Cage Brawler to the opposite side. You guys might think this is a little bit odd, and I know it's odd, but it's very, very fun to do. Hey. We're going to log everything? Oh my gosh, if I logged and Earthquake on the Zappies, that would have given us more value. But we just cycled two Hog Riders in the time that he had one counter to us. That's awesome. So Electric Spirit is going to form a Congo line. And as you guys can see, the Firecracker, it gives you infinite value for three Elixir. It's absurd that it gives you that much love. Anyway, I'm going to go in for a Hog Rider when I can again, just because now we have three Hog Riders right now in the span of, I don't know, like 30 seconds or something? Target. Oh, look at that Hog Rider swerve. That's what I'm talking about. He went towards the Goblin Cage and then nope. he's like, nope, not today. Let's go towards the tower and ruin this guy's day. Oh, man, that was... That was absolutely what I wanted to see. That was the dreams that make yourself just smile at the wake at night. If you wake up in the middle of the night at two o'clock and then you have like a little bit of a nightmare, you just think about that happy thought and then you're back in business and then you can just fall asleep real fast. So we're going for Electric Spirit. And I think we've won this game if I'm able to defend right now. So we're just playing tower defense. It's like not in Clash Royale anymore. <laughs> it's the most epic tower defense you've ever seen. So all we need to do is go in for a knight, go in for uh, Electric Spirit. And I think that Clash Royale should add a new game mode. To be honest, guys, they need to add tower defense and see how long you can survive like an onslaught of pushes. And then they need to have a leaderboard for that. I think that would be one of the best new innovations that they could possibly create. Oh my gosh, please die, thank you. You just have to say please and then it eventually dies, right? That's 100% that's the strategy. With the Firecracker and the Tesla still alive, we are not gonna lose this game. You need to go in for two fireballs, and that's literally just not possible. So, GG, well played, and peace out, buddy. It was a pleasure playing against you. Gotta give him the peace out Girl Scout mode in real life, too. Assert maximum dominance. <laughs> it's pretty cool just watching all the units go towards your tower and looking at it and be like, hey, you're not able to touch me. The timer ran out, buddy. Hey, we got a game here. Let's go. We actually got Daryl the Dark Goblin. 99% of the time, studies have shown if you drop skeletons or anything to body block a Dark Goblin, it's still gonna hit your tower. <laughs> wow, okay, Dark Goblin and P.E.K.K.A. And we still got a hit through that? Let's go, that's what I'm talking about. Usually the P.E.K.K.A. stops every single sentence of our hits. But our Hog Rider had a death sentence for that P.E.K.K.A. real quick. It's like, no, get away from me. Oh wait, what are you doing? You're spamming everything that you have at the river right now. So if we get skeletons to body block the big mob at P.E.K.K.A., maybe we can still make this work. I don't know, yeah, I should log that. I really should log that. If I didn't log that, we would have taken a hit straight to the face from Elite Barbarian. And two elixir, well, it definitely is worth stopping an e-barb hitting you. It doesn't feel very good, guys. When it hits its sword in the hair, and he's just like slaps in the face, it's not one of those form foam swords, guys. It's it's a little bit brutal. It doesn't feel that good. He's not doing some Jedi sword tactic series. He's slapping you silly with a big wet noodle, and it hurts a lot. Anyway, Mega Knight Pekka with e-barbs. Wow. Okay. All right, dude. I see you. I don't like you, but I see you. It's just 
one of those things that you don't want to be playing against too often. So I guess we go for skeletons afterward. Maybe get us around with the skeletons. Yeah, we vibing. Oh my god. That was beautiful. That was absolutely beautiful. We defended everything, only taking a little bit of hits. And he doesn't even kill the firecracker. What a great start to the game. We are really popping off with some positive interactions right now. If you guys don't know, I'm pretty sure the Firecracker is like one of the best cards in the game. And it's so underrated because not too many people play it. But with this deck, with Tesla, Knights, Fast Cycle, Skeletons, you can make miraculous interactions work your way. Hogrider did not get a hit there because he's a fast finger. The fast finger Larry with Robert's Army. Okay, why are you playing with Robert's Army, bro? What's going on? Also, why do you think that Musketeer is going to be able to hit me like that? What you doing, brother? What you up to? So we can go for Skeletons here and then we can log afterward. I think that is generally going to be the play just to deny all of the skeleton damage. And then we go for a hog rider because he's down elixir. I don't think you can afford a Mega Knight right now. Don't prove me wrong. Don't prove me wrong. Oh, oh come on, dude. You got to be kidding me right now. How do you afford that? I don't understand. This man just like prints money out here. He's like, it's like the Federal Reserve of Clash Royale. I don't understand. Oh my goodness. Elixir go burr. So I'm going to go for Skeletons here so the Mega Knight doesn't jump for joy on top of us. We just, we hate that Mega Knight with every fiber of our body. Okay, thank you. You know what I can do? We can stack the Teslas. We can build the Great Wall of Expo Counters. <laughs> this is literally like the Expo Counter City. Just cycling Teslas. No Expo player loves a Tesla more than when they drop it on their self. But if they drop, if your opponent's dropping it on top of your Expo, you hate it more than everything in your body. But what are you going to do here? How do we win? Yo, can you stop arrowing me? It's, it's kind of rude. It's a little bit rude. A little, just a little bit rude. We have to start going off as a lane. That's what I've realized. Because we're not going to be able to get damage any other way. If I'm able to, you know, cycle a couple hog riders and eventually break through, it's always a vibe, but it's so hard to do. We're going to go for skeleton and go pull that. I guess we can Electro Spirit afterward. Yeah, it's so tough. Yeah, I think we have to Electro Spirit afterward and then go for a hog rider because he's down Elixir. That was a bad play. You arrowed. You have nothing, right? You're going to peck afterward and we can Firecracker on top and get so much damage. You done goofed to Aaron. You big done goofed. He had no elixir. He was drier than the Sahara Desert right there. Did you guys see that? That was hilarious. You just have to catch them when they drop an arrows on top of a firecracker for no reason whatsoever. And then you can vibe with it. So is he going to Pekka? Yo, you barely have elixir. You're going to Pekka, but you're going to take so much damage. Yo, let's rein in the pain. Let's put in the work. Let's just cycle everything that we have and say peace out to him. GG, well played. And peace out, Girl Scout. You literally had Pekka with Mega Knight. And you also had Evarps, and you still lost. This is the power of Hog Rider Cycle. You don't even need your Earthquake to do damage because the rest of the cards do so much value. Hey, we got a game against Alex. What is up, my dude? So we're sauce out of good luck and we're see what's happening. I guess we can go for an Earthquake if you want to go in for any building, but we haven't seen anything like that so far. So I'm just chilling, I'm relaxing, I'm vibing, and I'm dropping my Firecracker in the back. What? Hello there. Guys, I was expecting like an expo cycle, but now we see bandit, so I don't know what to anticipate anymore. What? Are you kidding me right now? You have lightning with ice wizard and bandit. I have never seen the likes of this deck before, but that's what ladder's all about. It's always crazy tactics that I've never seen. Are you gonna tornado me for sure though? Are you gonna tornado me for sure though? I've seen this before. I've seen this movie on repeat. When I go to bed and I have the playlist running, this is all I see. Hog Rider Tears coming through the air, just landing on top of his King Tower and maybe able to eventually do damage, right? Like, can we flood his entire King Tower with Tears? That's our strategy right now. So I'm going to go for Firecracker in the back, maybe go in for Skeletons on top, and it's going to be Electro Giant. So I think it's going to be difficult for him to actually put in any real work here. Um, I can save enough Elixir for a Hog Rider. I don't want to drop Skeletons right now. I might need to, but I don't want to. Oh man, I do need to. Yo, that Dark Prince was coming for me. It was coming for the Firecracker booty, and we're not allowed to have that happen, man. You're not a pirate. Get away. Yo, all right. I guess we can Electro Spirit on top of this. As long as the Bandit doesn't dash, it's definitely going to dash, though. Come on now! Save me! Save me! Save me! Save me! Save me. Thank God. Oh my gosh, that was close. I did not know if the Firecracker was going to get a hit there or not. If it didn't, well, the Bandit was going to dash out my tower. The minions would have stayed alive, and I would have lost the game. So, completely calculated. Obviously, completely calculated. Whenever an interaction seems like it might be bad, and it works out for you in the end, you just got to say that you knew that it was going to happen all along, because otherwise, you would hurt your ego. So, 
We're going to go in for skeletons up here. Maybe go in for firecracker. And if you go for skeletons up top, the Dark Prince is going to hit each individual skeleton. So it's going to take two hits. Well, not each individual skeleton, but it's going to take two taps for it to clean up three skeletons. And that's way better than dropping in the middle than having all the skeletons just die at once. Wait, you have mini pack of tornado? Are you kidding me right now? Why you got to hard counter me like that, man? Why can't you just run a normal deck? You know, the, the ones that don't have mini pack of tornado and then also probably a building. Why you got to be that way? So, Bandit in the back. That's fine. I guess we were going to get a lightning from you early. I can start to Earthquake Cycle you, but I don't really like doing that. Uh, uh, do we log? Yeah, I think we have to. Oh my goodness. Please, 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 please keep me alive. Keep me alive. Why did I not drop skeletons earlier? Because I'm bad. That's the reason, guys. Obviously. So, as long as Ice Wizard dies, we're vibing with it. Maybe the Dark Prince is going to go onto the Knight, and then the Mini Pack also is going to just get obliterated. We'll have to wait and see what happens. Oh my goodness gracious, dude. What are you doing? Hog Rider, take it for the team! Make it happen for the memes! Oh, you died anyway. You're useless. You're useless. <laughs> useless, I tell you. Okay, so if we Earthquake and we Log, is that going to be a lot of damage? Probably not, but we're doing it anyway. Oh my goodness. I think I messed up. I think I done goofed Aaron. I think I done goofed Aaron. Maybe we can still make it happen if I go for skeletons. The firecracker did die, though. Oh my goodness, Bandit, get away, get away, get away. We have to log this. And I have Hog Rider, so I'm able to pull everything to the opposite lane. If you don't know, now you know. The Bandit goes opposite side, and then we don't even have to worry about it. It should just die here. It's not going to get a single hit. You love to see it. Or I guess if you're him, you probably hate me right now. The Hog Rider is doing so much damage, too. So he's going to start lightning me for sure. That's what I feel like right now. I think he's just going to lightning a simple knight. That's exactly what he was about. He's like, Jake, get out of here with that knight. Not today, sir. All right, if we Earthquake and we get an Electric Spirit on top of the Mini Packa, maybe we're able to get an extra hit. Let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, we know it's going to go in for an Electric Giant soon. So, oh, wait, why Why would you Why would you drop it in there? You're, you're literally not going to get any damage. Oh, my God. That almost did get a lot of damage. What is happening? Why would, why would he go in that lane? Doesn't he want to defend units and then get counter push? I am so confused right now. I don't understand what's going on, but I'm ready for the mini P.E.K.K.A. so I can firecracker and I can get some damage and then, you know, just casually walk away with the W with our Earthquake. So GG, well played and peace out, buddy. It was a pleasure shaking up the floor and rocking through with the dominance. Of course, gotta give him the peace out, Girl Scout emote in real life. Hey, why are we getting so much, so much lower than me in trophies? Come on, Clash Shirao. We are really so much higher than this. This does not make any sense. We win a whole bunch of games, and then we get someone 6,150 is lower than all the other people that we played against, right? What? How? Anyway, he lava hands in the back first play. I'm going to go for a firecracker here. The hog rider is going to give us a disastrous amount of damage. I think the difficulty in this matchup is, well, we have Earthquake, and we don't have great answers to our opponent if they're going to have arrows. So hopefully that's not going to be the case. We're going to go in for an Electro Spirit to reset everything. Tesla on top of the flying machine, and he's got arrows and miners. So this is one of the worst possible matchups. So not only does this guy have a great, great situation where he's playing against someone that has way higher trophies than him, but he also has a huge matchup advantage. Come on, Clash Royale. Give me the lucky sauce. Give me the lucky vibes. This is the worst matchup that you can get with the deck, so we're just going to try our hardest. If we don't win, it's okay, but most of the time, we're not going to get a matchup this bad. He's going to have arrows. He's going to have a building, and he's also going to end up having a miner to assassinate our firecracker, which is our best answer to all of his air cards. So I'm going to go for a knight here. I think that our best bet right now is to go for skeletons to keep the knight alive a little bit longer, maybe. If we're able to do that, we can go and kill the Goblin Cage Brawler, beat out some extra elixir, potentially, and then try to make it work with an Electro Spirit. So I'm just going to try to vigorously cycle back to another Hog Rider, see what's good, see what's up. He's going to barge. That's great. Firecracker it is. I don't think he's back to arrows. So the reason... Oh, he is back to arrows. <laughs> it's just like... The reason why I'm so confident is because we have a faster cycle than him. We're in a Hog Rider right now into a Mega Minion. We pull back the Barbarian so they get less damage on us. I'm going to Knight, and I'm going to go for Skeletons on the right-hand side. And the reason why I'm doing that is because he doesn't have Barbs in Cycle. We're going to bait out a Goblin Cage Brawler, maybe. And then he's not going to have the building for the next Hog Rider. So then maybe we can make something happen. It's going to be difficult, but we need to outcycle the Barbs, and we need to outcycle the Goblin Cage. And this might have been able to happen here. We got to make it work. We got to risk it for the biscuit. We got to play as well as we possibly can with the worst matchups we can get. So, you know, it's kind of like poker. You never really know what's going to happen, but you got to make sure that you maximize the odds in your favor. I'm going to log here to get more damage. And I think that we're going to be able to get one more firecracker hit, which is always a vibe. Nice. The barbs are out of cycle. We've got more damage in the opposite lane now. So we're going to just keep spamming. As you guys can see, that is the name of the game. It's not Clash Royale anymore. It's Spam City. So we're going to Firecracker in that lane because we know that he's going to probably have to go in for a Miner or Arrows or something along those lines. 
We're gonna go in for skeletons depending on what he does. Oh wait, what are you doing? Do you think that, that baby dragon can lock on it? I hope not. I really hope not right now. Give me the win. Give me the W, man. All right, we're gonna follow up with this. We're gonna eat a ton of damage. We're gonna firecracker again in the back. We need to get a knight down. If we don't get the knight down, I think I lose. Oh my goodness, this is really bad. So I'm a 10% gonna lose the tower. 110% gonna lose the tower. I tried my hardest in this matchup, but sometimes, guys, you can't win every single game. We'll bounce on our next one. We will assert dominance there. And I just hope that we don't play against someone that's got Lava Hound, Miner, and Eros all in the same deck. As you guys can see, we made the game really close, and we went opposite lane trying to outcycle both of his counters. Sometimes, if they make a slight misplay, like he didn't get his Barbarians or his Goblin Cage back in cycle, he would have definitely just lost the game. That minus 33 kind of hurt, though, not gonna lie. It's against my religion to lose twice in a row, so you guys already know the deal. We are gonna seal this man's fate, and he's lower than us in trophies. Come on, man. Come on, Clash Royal. Give me a break after that Lava Hound loss. It feels terrible to play against people that are consistently lower than you in trophies, but you know what, guys? His Sandcastle Towers, they're gonna come town. We're going to be that big bad bully that knocks over all the sandcastles with no remorse, especially when you're running elite barbarians. Okay, so the strategy here is drop a knight like it's a hot potato and then also drop a log to finish off the rest of elite barbarians. Wait, if the knight gets closer to the tower, this could be a play. This could be a vibe. Yo, the firecracker. <laughs> it got yoinked closer to the tower. That's hilarious. With the skeletons, we're going to clean up the rest of their RG and he's not going to... Oh, he gets value. He said he wasn't going to get any value. I stand corrected, guys. I stand absolutely floored by the amount of damage that the battle piggies get on my tower. Yes, the battle piggies are tried and true, battle tested, and strong in every situation. I hate how good that card is. I feel like Mother Witch deserves like five nerfs right now. I think they're even stronger than Elite Barbarians. Let me know down below in the comment section what you think is the strongest card in Clash Royale right now. So I can go for another Hog Rider here, but then we get Elite Barbarians. So do I want to do that? Probably not. You know, it's like knowing what will happen and still doing it anyway makes it fun, but at the same time, it's so stupid. I'm gonna do it. Just because I wanna get damage with the Firecracker, I think that the E-Barbs are gonna go on the Hog Rider instead of the Firecracker. Or are you gonna drop it another, oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? Oh my God. What just happened? He just gave up. He just saw like a Hog Rider. He's like, nope, don't wanna deal with that today. <laughs> and he gave me the W. You know what? We deserve this type of good karma. When we get a terrible matchup like the last one with Lava Hound and Arrows, I will take Sanctuary and any win that Clash Royale will give me. Thank you for not making me get destroyed by an extremely hard counter this game. I appreciate you. We only got 27 trophies, so you guys can already imagine that would have been a big fat negative 33 again. And if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a fat thick thumbs up on the video and subscribe for more content just like this. I'll see you in the next one.